Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Tiff. I don't know if I ever told you my full name, so yeah. Um, but uh, let's get into the colors. There they are right there. And the, this is the translucent cloud mix. So stop it right here if you wanna jot that down, but we'll talk about it more. So, and it will be in the description box. So colors, layering. Um, that first one is ultramarine blue. It's a translucent by Amsterdam, I believe. And then I did the permanent violet. And then this is um, that translucent cloud mix I have. This is Art Minds Amethyst. Back to the ultramarine. And then I'm gonna just scrape the rest of that translucent cloud mix is what I'm calling it. I have like four different cloud mixes now. Um, because I like my paint thick, so that's what I wanted um, to work on. So there's the violet, permanent violet. I'm gonna use the rest of that amethyst. It's a really pretty color, but it is definitely more pink. I am not a pink girl, but I'm trying to branch out a little bit more and add that color. Um, and I'm, I'm loving it actually. So there's the rest of the ultramarine. And this is an 11 by 14 canvas, and I used probably about a little over six ounces for this. I just wanna make sure I have enough paint. So yeah, I'll let you guys know here why I'm just uh, putting down this little layer to pour into. Um, this is gonna be a straight pour with the twist, and then I'm gonna do a tight little ring pour right in the center, almost as my cup is emptying right before it's emptying so yeah this translucent what I'm calling translucent cloud mix is one that I used in my last video and I, I didn't let you guys know what it was yet because I wanted to make sure it worked and I was having some issues with it um, because you definitely have to use more of the white in your cup than like a classic cloud pour that like Melly D would do Melly D, her paints are really thin and the way that she mixes it, you know, you only need a tiny little bit. This one, you need a little bit more. You, you definitely want to do a good amount, but it is a fine line. If you do way too much white, it will swallow it up like my previous video. It's gorgeous, but it's just a different look. And this piece, oh my gosh, yeah, I pulled out a huge chunk of something. I don't know what it was. It kind of freaked me out and it didn't mess up the pour process, so shocker. Anyway, um, yeah, so this mix is thicker, much thicker than Melly D's, and there is literally like three ingredients. It's the Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White, the Flow Acrylic. I have not tried the soft body yet. So it's the Flow Acrylic White, and then it's Liquitex Iridescent Medium, just a little bit, and then US Floetrol and water. And I have about a three second trace in my cup for this one. One thing I also noticed about this specific, what I call translucent cloud mix, is that you definitely want to use a translucent in there. Um, and in, in in semi-opaques. You can use opaque, but don't use all opaques. I didn't have great re results when I used all opaques with that translucent titanium white mix. So that's that's my thing with it. And like I said, I'm gonna link all this in the description box below, but right now I'm gonna shut up. I've talked so long. If you guys have any questions, just let me know in the comments below. But, all right, pouring this baby out, I was like, ooh, I wish I would have put a little bit more white in, but as I said before, I was running out. So, um, and I kind of was concerned that I put too much of the amethyst in there. But that ultramarine blue, another one of my artist friends said, that's the star of the show, like that ultramarine blue is, is just so pretty. And this one I think is much prettier in person, even than on, on here. So yeah, right now I'm just trying to figure out where, you know, where I want everything. 
So I'm just gonna shut up, let you guys watch me tilt this out. I'll be back probably in like a minute and a half. Okay, hang in there. Hey guys, I'm back. So yeah, thanks for hanging in with me during the stretching session. Um, honestly, I was pleasantly surprised. I actually really started loving this piece um, when I stretched it out, when I was starting to stretch it and um, really deciding the composition. And I love that ultramarine area. And I love what the translucent, white, cloudy area is doing. If I would have put more of that white in the cup or had more available, I was like I said, I was running out. It would have looked like the full length video that I had posted before this one. Now, right before this one, there's a short. It's really fast, it's a short, that's a different cloud mix. But I'm talking like the video where I speak, um, I'll link it in the description box below, but that full length video, um, I used the same white mix, but I had more of it. So it does some beautiful things and it's really simple. And one thing I love about this is look at those pearls. The pearls at the bottom of the, the, the translucent fingerlings, it literally looks like you could pick them up. Like the depth in them is, uh, I mean, I just, I can't. I, I mean, I can't get over this piece. Anyway, I'm finished with it. I love the composition. I didn't want to go any further because I didn't want to skew anything. So this is where I stopped. So here comes the close up. And I will say, because I used so much of that amethyst, it made its appearance known. So this piece is going to be very sparkly <laughs> in the end. But look at that artist's loft white look at those i mean it looks like you could pick them up it's even more prominent when you look at the piece in real life without this you know bright light shining on it so here comes some stills um if you guys have any questions about this let me know i'll be doing more videos on this but i'd love to hear your thoughts on this look and um yeah. Oh, and stay tuned for the collaboration with Grateful Creations, Michelle. And um, yeah, so leave me a comment, like, share, subscribe, and thanks so much for hanging out with me, you guys. Have a great day. Bye.